Hello, welcome back. This is lecture four of our lecture series on basics of computer networking. If you haven't watched lecture three, please check the link in the description box below. In this video, we will discuss internet connections. According to Cisco Annual Internet Report 2018-2023, there will be 29.3 billion networked devices by 2023. I believe because of the COVID-19 pandemic, this number will increase. According to the recent reports of Internet World Stat, as of June 2022, 5.47 billion people are connected to the Internet. It is important to know the different type of technology that will help us to connect to the Internet. In the next slide, we will discuss about home and small office internet connections. As shown in the picture, home users, remote workers, and small offices require a connection to internet service provider to access the internet. Connection options vary greatly between ISPs and geographical locations, but the most popular choice include broadband cable, a broadband digital subscriber, wireless wide area network, and mobile services. Few of the examples are first, DSL, digital subscriber line. It provides high bandwidth, high availability, and an always on connection to the internet. DSL run over a telephone line. In general, small office and home office users connect using a synchronous DSL, which means that the download speed is faster than the upload speed. The second one is a cable connection. Cable connection is offered by cable television service providers. The internet data signal transmit on the same cable that deliver cable television. It provides a high bandwidth, high availability, and an always-on connection to the internet. Third one is cellular connection. Cellular internet access uses a cell phone network to connect to the internet. Wherever you can get a cellular signal, you can get cellular internet access. Performance is limited by the capability of your phone and the cell tower to which it is connected. The fourth one is satellite connection. The availability of satellite internet access is a benefit in those areas that don't have internet connectivity at all. Satellite dish require a clear line of sight to the satellite. It affected by trees and other obstruction. The fifth one is dial-up telephone. An inexpensive option that uses any phone line and a modem. The low bandwidth provided by a dial-up modem connection is not sufficient for large data transfer. Dial-up is often the only choice available for remote areas where broadband installation are not prevalent due to low population density and high infrastructure cost. Next, we will discuss about the business internet connections. Organizations usually need access to other corporate sites as well as the Internet. Fast connections are required to support business services, including IP phone, video conferencing, and the data center storage. Popular business class services include business DSL, list line, and metro Ethernet. Few of the examples are dedicated list lines. Leased lines are reserved circuit within the service provider's network that connect geographically separated offices for private voice or data networking. The circuits are rented at a monthly or yearly rate. The next one is Metro Ethernet. This is sometimes known as Ethernet Wide Area Network. It extends LAN access technology into one access technology. The third one is Business DSL, Digital Subscriber Lines. Business Digital Subscriber Lines is available in 
various for a popular choice is the symmetric digital subscriber line which is similar to the consumer version of dsl but here it provides uploads and downloads at the same high speed the fourth one is satellite satellite service can provide a connection when a wired solution is not available just like home and small office internet connection next We'll discuss about the converging network. Traditional network use separate network for different purpose. For example, here for data, one network, for voice, one network, and for video, another network. So generally, we are using three network. Here, each network uses different technology to carry the communication signal and it has its own rule agreement and standard this separate network could not communicate with each other retaining this type of network is generally resource consuming so it's needed to come up with a solution which is the converged network as shown in this picture, converged networks are capable of delivering data, voice, and video traffic between many different types of devices over the same infrastructure. It carries multiple services on a single network. This network infrastructure uses the same set of rules, agreement, and implementation standards, and it's known as converged network. If you have any question, please use the comment section below. In the next video, we will discuss about reliable network. Thank you and see you there.